For those of you that are new to our channel, I'm Troy. Today, Linda and I are stopping about an hour away from our house, and we've embarked on a one month long trip, and we're pretty excited. Tonight, we're gonna make sure everything's working as it should, and we have everything we need. Um, one great benefit about this wonderful RV park is only just a, sh a short distance from a cat scale at a local truck stop. So that's the subject of today's video. We're gonna weigh, and this time we're gonna weigh, seeing what we are headed on the road for a big trip. As Troy said, we are heading out on our month-long trip, and that means a few hard days worth of driving to him, so I'm letting him kick back. So let's talk right now about towing and weight. So back in November, we did do a video where we took the camper to the Catscales for the first time, and we walked you through the process, as well as talked about what we actually kept in our camper at the time. We were not packed up for a trip, just regularly stocked, and um, showed you what our weights came back at. Well, we did the whole process again last April when we were returning from a trip. So let's take a look at that. So let's talk numbers. Now, that was a return trip, so we would have had a full hot water heater, which would have been six gallons, and probably a few gallons in the fresh water tank. And we did have a um, cooler full of ice and drinks here. Numbers, 3,960 pounds for the camper weight and 640 pounds for that tongue weight. Now, our camper is rated for 3,915 pounds, so we were about 45 pounds over. So this time we made sure that all of the water was drained out and we put that cooler in the back of the truck. So we're gonna see if it makes a difference. But that was a return trip, which means we were out of food and a lot of other things. This one, we are fully stocked with food, clothes for a month. So kind of curious what these numbers actually come back at. Before we get to the numbers from today, let's talk about some of these towing terms. A lot of people focus on, you know, how much can my tow vehicle actually pull? That's what we did when we first were looking at the GeoPro. But there's a lot of other terms that we have learned since then that we need to pay a close eye to. So let's talk about them. When we decided to buy a travel trailer, we had a truck at the time that was a little bit smaller than the one that I have now. It had an only a towable rating of 5,200 pounds, which is not a lot for a truck. And uh, because of that, we were kind of limited in the options. So we chose and had found the GeoPro that we really liked a lot and eventually bought. It has a 3,200 pound out of the factory dry rating. I mean, that's what it is, bare bones, nothing, on, nothing in it. It has a 3,900 pound gross rating which is your clothing and your camping gear and all your stuff. Which was still okay because we don't like to exceed 80% of the vehicle's tow rating when mating it with the travel trailer. But beyond that, there's a lot of other uh, terminology and important factors you need to consider. So let's talk about these other numbers. The first one that comes up, tongue weight. Now these single axle trailers notoriously have kind of a higher tongue weight. And what is tongue weight? That's the amount of force that's pushed down on your hitch. So, um, 
from the manufacturer. They have 415 pounds approximately is what our tongue weight is. But that does not take into account things like the battery, which was 65 pounds. Um, it does not look at, you know, what you have inside the storage compartment and what is loaded into the camper itself. So when we weighed the first time, our tongue weight was actually around 600 pounds. Now, the truck at the time, 5,200 pound towing capacity, and it was rated for 520 pounds of tongue weight. That was one of the reasons that we upgraded. Another component to consider is payload capacity of the vehicle that you're pulling the trailer with. You have to consider the people in the vehicle, which is a, which is a feature. You have to take into consideration the tongue weight of the tr of the travel trailer that's bearing down and that affects the number anything you want to put in the bed of the truck that's just as important so you can easily exceed or get really close to that rated number without even trying yeah for us in this truck it's about 1500 pounds and with a tongue weight of 600 pounds we only had 900 pounds left for me troy the dog and grills grills whatever else we want to carry so that number um, is very important as well and the next one is your gross axle weight rating and basically that's just how much each axle whether it's on your camper or on your truck can um, hold so those are the numbers that we found that we have to pay the most attention to but there are other weight and towing terms out there so strongly encourage you if you're looking to upgrade maybe buy a new camper just become really familiar with all of the terms and the numbers that you need so you are out there traveling you're staying safe others are staying safe and you're not doing damage to your camper or your tow vehicle so what about today's numbers well <laughs> we went through all over again the three times you're good So these are the two tickets. One was the truck by itself. One was everything hooked up. Um, unfortunately, the last one kind of got some water damage. Um, so you're gonna have to trust me on those numbers. I did luckily before we dumped our drink on that. Um, I had already put the numbers into the towing calculator. So our results. The camper weighed 3,920 pounds, but our tongue weight grew to 660 pounds. So we did bring our gross weight down a little bit. We are now about five pounds overweight. So, you know, we're gonna need to eat about five pounds worth of food tonight. But as far as the tongue weight, we're probably gonna shift some things around this evening. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away if you stick around to the end, I'll show you that all this stuff actually can fit in a 20 foot camper. Um, I think once we kind of shift some things around, um, I think it's that tongue weight will actually get down a little bit more in line. But as you can see, um, each time that we have gone ahead and weighed this, that tongue weight is so much higher than what Rockwood has at 415, I think is what they say ours is, but that was a dry weight. Um, our dry weight was around 3,200 pounds. So you can see that tongue weight grows really quick once you put a battery and things in the storage compartment and things on this bed and anything in front of this axle. So it's just something to really keep an eye on and really be comfortable understanding how they all work. What you don't want to do is move too much stuff to the back of the camper because that can make sway worse. So really recommend that you guys just read as much as possible, learn as much as possible about towing. Don't focus only on can my truck tow it, but look at all of these other numbers just like we did. So um, that is pretty much wrapped up for today's video. Now, like I said, we are on this month long trip. This is gonna be a whole mix of boondocking, mooch docking, harvest hose, and campgrounds. We're gonna to try to bring you some great travel videos and um, we'll see what else we can do along the way. So if you'd like to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. And Desi here, who was on sick leave last week, is back with a vengeance and really wants you to hit that notification bell. Okay, 
everything is put away. We have some stuff up here on the stovetop, but that always goes to the bed anyway when we travel. And all that food that was on the bed is now in this closet. Now I did move one small basket to the truck, had uh, shoes and a few odds and ends. It should help with that five pounds. And these footstools that are so heavy, we're gonna move those back tomorrow, but I think we are good to go. As always, thanks for watching.